Hi, I'm Holly Silva, and I've been a crafts expert for about 15 years now. Today, I'm going to show you how to remake a beaded bracelet. Now, this particular beaded bracelet we have uh, made of wire. And, oops, oh no, what just happened? We lost our beads, right? That's what happens when you, when you have to fix a beaded bracelet. Now, what I'm going to show you is going to be the same whether it's made out of wire or string or leather or wood. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, you are going to take a look at what type of beads are on it and you're going to assess the situation. You're going to be like, hmm, you know what? I really liked this bracelet, but I wasn't too fond of the colors so much. I, I think it could have used like a little more, pff, I don't know, say brown. So guess what? You grab your brown beads and you pour them out on the table like so. And you grab whatever end. Now, if it's a, if it's a string bracelet, you have to grab like a, a needle with an eye through it. So then you stick the thread or whatever, the string through the needle, and then you can just beat it through. That's so much easier than trying to like, I don't know, squeeze it over. You get the idea. But because we're using wire today, uh, it acts as its own needle. So you just poke them through. Just stick through the beads. I really like beaded bracelets because they're colorful, they're fun. Uh, usually they're handmade, so somebody made them for you. And so there's usually lots of love in it because nobody does beadwork unless they love it, right? So here we are with some other colored beads. I chose these uh I chose these little amber colored beads. I really like the color amber. I think it's very soothing. Oh, by the way, you can grab these beads anywhere pretty much uh as long as they have craft craft goods at the store, whether it's like a Walmart or a Walgreens maybe. I don't know if they carry those things, but uh but you can certainly find them there. This one came out of just a little vial. Uh, they're probably only, I think they're only about like $2 maybe, maybe even less, like $1.17 or something. And so there that is. Now I'm not going to complete this whole thing because it's time consuming and I don't want to consume your time because it's precious. So I'm going to show you how to close it. So on a wire bracelet, this one, it happens to be a wraparound bracelet like so. Uh, but at the very end of it, what you're going to do is create a loop. Now you can do this with your hands uh, if you're using a craft wire or you can use if you're using a stronger craft wire a thicker gauge you can also use a needle um, needle nose plier which is one of the fun tools at home because you can do pretty much anything a plier needs with it and you wrap it around like so and your wire bead bracelet is fixed now if it happens to be a string bracelet uh, all you would do is like tie a knot or if it's uh, if it's a uh, like a fishing string or something plastic you would probably just cauterize it or maybe you know tie a knot depending on the size of the beads or you can wrap another bead around it and you know make it really cool um, you can figure it out you're smart we, we all have these wonderful capabilities and you're gonna enjoy it so there's your bead bracelet let us know if you have any questions on this or anything else and we would be so glad to help you out see you next time Oh, 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 oh,